Before coming to Georgia Tech, I didn't really know what to expect from its computer science program. I knew it was regarded as being very prestigious, and I'd done a lot of research and found all the statistics, but I really wanted the perspective of a current student at Georgia Tech. So, two and a half years later, this is that video. The first thing that I think is important for a lot of prospective students to know is that Georgia Tech's computer science program is very beginner friendly. I had three years of programming experience when I came to Georgia Tech, but I actually started in their very first computer science course, which is CS1301. From a language perspective, this introduces Python from the very beginning. I had no experience with Python before coming to Georgia Tech, and I was able to pick it up very quickly. That being said, the class does move at a very brisk pace, so if you're someone who's never done any programming, it's probably going to take you longer to grasp the concepts than some of the students who have experience in other languages. The second point is that the workload can be very intense. This definitely depends on the course, but time-consuming projects and homeworks are assigned frequently in a lot of the computer science classes. These assignments generally are beneficial in helping you use the ideas that you're taught in the classroom and apply those concepts to actual coding. The effect of these assignments multiplies as you go through college because you'll start taking multiple computer science courses at the same time and they'll all have assignments due at the same time. The third point can be represented statistically, but it also impacts the culture of the school. As of a couple years ago, computer science became the single largest major at Georgia Tech. In my experience, I think at least a third of my freshman floor consisted of computer science majors, and as a result, we had this great community on my floor where we could talk and share ideas with each other. That's not to say that you're not going to make friends with people from other majors, but especially when you're getting started, it's nice to make some friends in your own major. I don't have a lot to compare to for this point, but Georgia Tech lets you start taking computer science classes very quickly. As a disclaimer, I did come in with 15 credits due to AP tests and SAT subject tests my freshman year. Obviously, I still have a lot more courses to take here, but in my five semesters so far at Georgia Tech, I've taken CS1301 and CS1100, CS1331 and CS2050, CS1332 and CS2340, CS2110 and CS3630, and CS3600, CS3510, CS2200, and CS3311. I realize that's a lot of numbers that probably don't mean anything to you. If you'd like to know more about what all those classes were about, leave a comment down below and let me know if you'd like me to make a video talking about all those classes. I was lucky enough to land an internship as a freshman, and I definitely feel that Georgia Tech gives you everything you need in your very first year of college to set you up to work in a professional environment. The fifth thing is that, for the most part, there's a very strong focus on conceptual understanding. Tests are generally done with paper and pencil, and being able to complete diagrams and code by hand is a very important part to doing well on tests. Coding is definitely still an important part of most computer science classes, and this will teach you how to implement a lot of the concepts that you learn about in class. Obviously, every class is different, but in my experience, I've actually only had one class that used computers in class for assessments. The final discussion point is Georgia Tech's Threads program. Here's the short version. Computer science majors get to choose two areas to specialize in out of eight categories. The eight categories are devices, info internetworks, intelligence, media, modeling and simulation, people, systems and architecture, and theory. Personally, I chose devices and intelligence as my threads. Devices isn't as popular, but I've heard estimates that about half of the computer science majors at Georgia Tech choose intelligence as one of their threads. Everyone takes the same introductory computer science courses, so you don't need to worry about choosing your threads right away, but I strongly recommend that you look through all the required courses for each thread before deciding which threads are right for you. If you found this video useful, feel free to hit that thumbs up button and share it with other prospective students. If you'd like to see more videos like this one, be sure to subscribe because I have a bunch more videos coming on being a computer science major at Georgia Tech. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.